Hey, it's me, Gene Farrell, with another tutorial for Cinema 4D. It's a long time ago uh, since my last tutorial, but now I'm back and I want to show you a quick workflow to texturize and uh, materials and stack materials over each other and fade them by drawing. So let's dive right away uh, into this tutorial with this. Uh, I create here a landscape object and resize it a little bit so that it's a little bit bigger. So, and then I make it uh, editable. And first of all, I load in a texture as an underlying texture. So for this, I go in my texture pack into this uh, ground floors and therefore I load in this texture. So I put this texture on it and resize it a little bit in scale by um, tiling it in the material 25 i think is enough oh no this is too much oh two five what the hell so and yeah this is the material so i give it a little bit of bump i put this in the bump channel as well and yeah and also I put it into the displacement channel, make three, so polygon displacement, turn it on. And let's look how it is. Oh, it's too much, <laughs> too much bump. Yeah, and also in the radio channel. Yeah, okay, it's okay. So the next step is I want to draw another texture on it, on top of it. And I want, I don't want to do this with uh, noises and so much and this thing. So I want to draw it because I just want to determine where all this stuff happens. So um, I just call my script here, uh, select this object, call my script and go to textures and load another texture on top of it. For this, I choose here this texture. What it does, it creates a texture and a material on it. I activate drawing on the alpha channel, choose my, f my brush and also the color is white and simply start drawing here this texture on top of it. So like maybe like this. And now I choose a little bit less opacity to fade this a little bit on, on the border. Make a good transition between the materials. <clears throat> and also I copy this shader here. So this is the projection shader so that I can tile it. And this is the alpha mask it creates automatically. So I put this into this channel, but here uh, you have to be aware. So it doesn't work. So I have to go back and select all these parameters, copy them and paste them. Why isn't it selected? So now it works again. I can crank it a little bit up. So I have here also bump and the next one i load in another material with my script here and therefore i use here this sand um white is still on um brush and i draw here i have to activate it first so now i can draw here a little bit you can see it's a little bit the tiling is too strong, so too strong. So I change here the tiling and the projection shader. Simply reduce it and copy this also into the bump channel. Copy the settings and paste them. So. I have this bump, also a little bit of fading 
here and like fade a little bit between the materials. Yeah, maybe you know a little bit different materials. Yeah, I put in maybe a tree. Anywhere you want. And physical sky. And we have done our landscape by drawing here this materials together. So and if you want, um, a cool thing is you can use PBR materials and yeah, mix them together. So this is probably uh, generally not possible. So, but with Alpha Mask and the projection shader, you can do that. What's also important to know is the script um, creates every time you call it. Um, loads in the material in the color channel with a projection shader and also um, creates an alpha map and texture in JPEG. So, but it's not saved. It, he creates it in the um, in the RAM memory. So every texture we created now uh, is saved in the in the memory. So first we have to if you save your project, Cinema 4D doesn't ask you um, to save uh, the textures in this case I don't know why this is so so if I save now for instance on the desktop um, I create uh, for this a new folder um, test text and save there my project So now Cinema 4D is asking me if I want to save the textures. I say yes. In this case, now it, it's working. Before, I, it, doesn't, it didn't work before, but now it works. So if it doesn't work, we have to go either in body paint and use this function, save all textures. I created here a shortcut and I can save all the textures which were created in the thing. But better is when you close the project because here you have to um, save for every texture. This is not very comfortable. So here I go into this, um, where is it? Uh, test C4D, I think it was. So much mess on my desktop. No, this doesn't, was it? This, this wasn't it. Sorry, my bad, here, test text. So you see, he creates for every mask we were drawing, he creates this mask. So it's really, a, uh, it has not very much um, size, this uh, texture. You can see it's, this is just 60 kilobytes big, this texture. It's a 5K, uh, 500 pixels textures. So this is very, very less. Uh, it's just a grayscale picture. So this is cool. You can download the script if you, if you want this uh, helper. Um, it's yeah I, I load it up on my website you can directly download it from there so goodbye thanks for watching like me subscribe me I will improve my English skills and maybe the next time I I am a little bit better <laughs> goodbye